Welcome, Taurus, to your Astro Dice reading for September. I hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. Straight into this. Bringing out some Jupiter energy with some Libra energy. Going straight into the fifth house. Wow. Fifth house of love, marriage, personal relationships, romance, creating things you're proud of. Wow. Let's see what's going on. So going on to what is it? It is your confidence, courage, self-belief, and luck. Nice. Doing it with some Libra style over here. This energy is diplomatic, gracious. It seeks harmony and balance in the relationship. And going straight into that fifth house, we're talking about where that fun and romance is. Nice. And anything that you are creating, right? So feeling like you might even have some kind of creative thing going on. Maybe you're feeling very romantic right now. There's this kind of romance in the air going on for you. So let's see what's going on over here. Grabbing some cards, going straight to the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month. Fix this a little bit. Okay. Best message coming through. Is talking about the, sad, the sadness and the isolation in the beginning of the month. Um, talking about seeking that that uh, peace that you need within yourself and dedicated effort. Uh, let's see what we got over here. Not trusting the situation, but not completely moving on in the middle of the month either, but yet not really coming together either. So it's almost like I don't trust what's going on, but I'm not going to move past this. Um, but we're definitely not going to come together the way we want to come together. Um, at the end of the month, the well-deserved reward that you're looking for is not truly there just yet, but you are going to try to find that balance right there under the Libra. Look at that. Right there under the Libra, you're going to try to find that balance with the clarity and the belief going on. So there is definitely some kind of clarity and belief going on where you're saying, okay, well, I do have this one piece. So there is that one piece of the puzzle going on, my friends. Let's see what's going on. Having the sadness and the isolation to the situation is mostly because there is something going on that you try to put a lot of dedicated effort into in the beginning of the month, but it's not really 100% coming the way you want it to. You could be dealing with an Aquarius um, who just feels like the conversations that you're having are moving away from what it is you truly are trying to um, put together over here. So if you know that you're trying to really communicate with them and, you know, and really get this off you know, into a good, the good foot. <laughs> yeah, taking steps towards this. It's almost like you're taking steps towards it. They're pulling away from you. So trying to figure out what it is and why are they trying to escape? Why is it that they're doing what they're doing when you put in so much effort to try to keep them there? Trying to keep the Ten of Cups alive with all this effort. Um, definitely feeling like they are definitely just, you know, just keep wandering backwards and not coming towards you. In the mid-month, you don't really trust them because... They don't seem to have the focus on you the way you want them to have the focus on you. So you're kind of almost losing focus in them as well. If they're going to keep doing so, then there's not a whole lot you can do. So in the mid-month, it does feel like the Nine of Wands where you had all this dedicated effort to do so just causes more sadness. Even though you're not going to move away from them the way they're moving away from you, you're just losing a little bit of focus. That's all. But you haven't cut the ties. There's no cut tie cutting. It just means you do whatever you're going to do and I'll do what I want to do. You do have some kind of good uh, news coming through and some something that's going to catch your attention when it comes to the not coming together. But it's not the reconciliation that you're really looking for, but it definitely is something that has better news for you. Um, and this is talking about how they are thinking and it's almost like they're they're telling you, okay, well, we can try to do this, but I'm not really sorry yet that this is going the way you want it to go. So the good news pretty much is, uh, how do I explain that? It's like, 
I'm talking to you more than I was before, but that doesn't mean that I'm 100% coming toward you. You see what I'm saying? So there isn't really what you definitely want just yet. It just means, yes, that there is more conversation. So the conversation is there. It's just a partial transformation. There's not the, the 100 word. Yeah, see, even at the bottom of the deck is the wands upside down, saying there is no 100% reconciliation the way you want this to go. But they are looking at other things out in the world. It seems like they are very focused on other things at this this time. But with you not being focused and not really trusting what's really going on, you're really asserting your yourself also to looking out and just doing the things you're supposed to be doing without allowing it to affect you too much, um, which is very good. And the well-deserved reward is because there isn't enough um, strength within the relationship at this time. Um, there's a lot of delay, so if they're telling you that we're going to go do this and do that, they could be definitely procrastinating a situation or delaying it or even maybe even standing you up with the Six of Swords. So if they say, you know what, we should get together this time and then they don't call back or do anything about it, that's pretty much the Six of Swords with that. Um, with the Five of Cups upside down, the balance that you're looking for is not there either. Um, you are finding balance in so many other areas of your creativeness. So you could definitely be a lot more creative at this time. Do, like I said, doing your own things. But when it comes to this love situation, it's, it's not going the way you want it to be. There's not enough growth and fine tuning within this situation. So the possibility of you both trying to plan out something or do something is not working right now. And it could also be that you're both too busy. Um, there is a lot of confusion on their side, but you also have the clarity and the belief that you know that you're on your own path to your own victory, doing your own thing. You're just wishing, you know, it's almost kind of like the wish thing, you guys, where it's like, I just, I know I'm doing what I'm doing on this side. I just wish I could bring you with me. You know what I'm saying? So it's almost like in the fifth house, it's like, you know, your finances and stuff are doing pretty good. It's almost like, I just want the collaboration of the love and the money together. Right. That's, that's really what it is. If I could collaborate them together, then I could have, you know, I could have all kinds of things. And that's really what it is. It's like trying to pull them together, pulling two paths together um, and not being stuck at a crossroads with this other person. Because that's really what you want right there, guys, is the Ace of Cups, right? Where it's saying, I want this fresh new start with this love situation. Um, but there is still this crossroads situation between me and them where I just having a hard time really connecting to them. So... There is this kind of abrupt situation going on where it's hard to grow this piece right now. Um, and it just could be a lot of being busy or however it is. But it also feels like the more you're coming towards them, the more they're escaping you. Ooh, for some of you, this, you know, I don't like to say the twin flame thing, but this could be the mouse and <laughs> cat and mouse game over here of twin flames. Um, you know, because I got a lot of red and chase over here. So... You know, take that how it resonates for you. If you know you're dealing with a twin flame that, you know, it's like, oh my God, here we go again. You know, um, then yeah, there it is. It, there's the challenge again. So I'm just wanting their support and the assistance within this situation, but you're not going to really get it this month. Um, it's more about, I really see a lot more creativity and really doing the other things that you're proud of um, within the fifth house, you know, but it's not really the romance that you're really, you know, um, looking for because it looks like you were looking for it but it looks like they will not give it to you at this time okay so we'll see how that works out later okay and until next time my friends peace and love bye bye Thank you.
Thank you.